Catherine Zeta-Jones is breaking her silence on accusations that her husband, Michael Douglas, sexually harassed a woman. While promoting her upcoming movie, The Griselda Blanco Story, at the Television Critics Association Press Day Tour, Zeta-Jones also commented on Douglas's decision to release a statement and deny the allegations of his former employee, My reaction was that as two people who have been in the business, him longer than me, was that we support. He did a statement. I think it's very clear the way he stands. I cannot elaborate on something that's so very personal to him, she added. Douglas found out that an employee who worked for him 30 years ago was telling publications that the actor masturbated in front of him. The actor clarified that no such thing happened. While speaking with Deadline, the actor admitted that he was shocked by the allegations. I don't know where to begin. This is a complete lie, fabrication, no truth to it whatsoever, he said. Douglas said that he felt bad that his family had to go through such a scandal especially when it didn't necessarily occur. My kids are really upset, has to go to school worrying this is going to be in some article about me, being a sexual harasser. The scared and very uncomfortable. My wife has a long career and is a woman, she has been very supportive, he said. The actor also said that he decided to address the issue head on before more outlets picked up the full story so that he can explain what truly happened. Douglas also said that he continues to treat women the same way he had been treating them for the past several years. During Zeta Jones' interview at the TCAs, the actress also said that she empowers her 14-year-old daughter, Caris, to stand up for herself as a young woman. I have a daughter and I instill empowerment in her every single day, she said. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones have each other's backs. Pictured, Douglas, Zeta Jones attend the Actors Fund Career Transition for Dance's 2017 Jubilee Gala at Marriott Marquis Hotel on November 1, 2017 in New York City. Photo, Getty Images, Jamie McCarthy.